And when I say morning, it is 3.12 a.m. on, what is this, the 8th of March, <laughs> Thursday, no, Friday, Friday. <laughs> I am on my way to Virginia to buy a car. And, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to title this video, but it's probably going to be like something about how to buy a wrecked car. But I just realized I need to go inside and grab the money that I forgot. So, um, yeah, so there's that. So, I will talk to you on my journey, or talk to you throughout my journey. So, sorry I didn't stop or anything, or not stop, sorry I didn't record anything when I hit the, uh, rest stop in, uh, like right over the line of Virginia. I'd say probably, probably a good uh, 60 miles into Virginia. But I'm in Richmond now. I'm at the U-Haul place. They don't open until uh, 7 and it's 6.41. <laughs> I actually made really good time. I left at, uh, after the first clip I did, I uh, stopped and got gas. So I hit the road probably about 3.30 in the morning. So it's like 3 hours and 10 minutes. Not bad, including the stop. So uh, the place where the car is, is uh, about 4 miles away, I'm told. And uh, I'm not sure if I should try to find a bathroom or something around here, but I really got to go. So anyway, I'm not sure what I want to try to do because uh, the place opens soon. I might try to find like a McDonald's or something, even though I hate eating junk food or junk food or fast food. But you know, I'm I'm on the road and I'm at the mercy of whatever's around here. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, I don't know if you can see that. That is the 2006. Uh, is that Chrysler Town? No, Dodge Grand Caravan. Yeah, it is a Grand Caravan, right? Yeah, 2006 Dodge van. Yeah, that looks like a... This is a Virginia title, but for obvious reasons, I'm not, you know, giving a whole lot of information on it. Man, he really did put many miles on in the year. But, um... So, I'm in a Virginia rest stop. I was going to, uh... was going to do a walk around of the van. But, right now, there's just too many, uh... You know, where I'm at here to rest up right now is the truck section and there's just too many trucks coming in and out the one right next to me is actually uh, idling right now so you probably would have a hard time hearing me I'm trying to plug my uh, camera's uh, power cord in uh, but you know we so I, I went and picked it up obviously I'm about uh We're in a 3% grade right now. Uh, about 40 miles from where he's at. And um, I want to stop and look at the, you know, double check the straps. You can probably hear the truck pulling away from me now. I want to check, stop, or, st by the way, I've been awake since 3 o'clock this morning. It's 9.36 now. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so... I want to stop and check the straps because uh, you should always do that after a few miles. Um, I usually like to do it after one mile, but where we were at, that was not going to be possible. So, um, I'm like, well, you know, I've got the chains on there. <laughs> but anyway, so I am going to go home now. Um, well, actually, I'm going to go drop this van off at the storage unit. Oh, by the way, did I mention that we're getting snow right now? So I picked a great day to do this, but, I went, but uh, we'll see how things go as I get more doors. But so far, every day this week, we got a few uh, snow flurries in the morning, and you know, never amounted to anything. It just was there. But that, some of these are some big, uh, some big uh, snowflakes coming down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, right now, there's no hood on it. The hood is in the back of it. Like like I mentioned, this was a wrecked vehicle. And I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, fix it up. There's going to be a series on it. Uh, i got to wait for the for my tax money to come in to start doing that, though. 
Uh, he actually has, I'm surprised, he actually has a bucket of bolts that all came from this, but I'm probably going to get more when I get the parts from the junkyard, so. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get moving, because I still have about three hours of driving to go. Alright, so I'm stopping at like every other rest stop, mainly because I want to like check the straps and make sure everything is uh, good on the trailer and I'm not gonna run into any issues. Uh, it's still snowing. It's not. Um, it's not accumulating, and it looks like uh, at one point it looked like a friggin' blizzard coming down. I mean, it, like you couldn't see more than a few hundred feet ahead of you. But uh, stopped here, went to the bathroom. We're, I'm still in Virginia, but uh, but I'm just gonna say this right now. This truck is pulling this trailer just fine. Uh, according to the trip computer, which you can't always believe, it says it's 15.9 miles to the gallon. Um, so, that's really not bad. Because um, I'm, what, a hundred and some miles. Or, I'm 82.7 miles away from where I was. I'm going to try to push it longer this time, as long as I don't have to pee again. <laughs> but uh, the... The trailer recommends that you don't exceed 55 miles an hour. So I have the trailer. Yes, I am drinking a soda. Um, I've been awake since 3 o'clock this morning and it's 10.40 now. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little bit of caffeine. That's fine. Um, it's just a, a, a cherry Pepsi, which is fine. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to try to push on. Um, like I said, I'm moving along at 55 miles an hour. I've got the uh, thing set to uh, trailer uh, tow haul mode, which changes the transmission shift point so that it doesn't blow up while towing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and start moving on. I got to plug my phone in so I can have GPS. So talk to you guys in a little bit so here we are at the storage unit if you're a veteran of my channel you no doubt have seen this place when I have shown the uh, the camper a couple times well this is what I bought but oh, Eric it's missing a few things yes yes it is <laughs> but it's actually in it's got a lot of cosmetic issues yes but it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, this fender actually looks like it might have taken a hit too. So I might try to get both front fenders. Um, but like, it's got some scratches and some dirt. And I think on the others, well, this is from scratches here. I might try to cover that up, fill that up and, uh, and uh, deal with that. I think it had, yeah, right here, every single, there is not a single one of these vans that does not rust there, no matter where it's from. Uh, he, and that actually looks to be true. He said that right before the accident, he had all four brakes done, or brakes all the way around done, and they definitely did not do the rotors. They pad slapped that, at least on the back. And the fronts, yeah, the fronts look like new rotors. Yeah, they really are new rotors. Uh, and this wheel is gross. Uh, one of the problems I have is... Oh, okay, this one I can... Oh, when I sit down in it, it will not open because uh, it's too close to that. So, hell, that would be a time to change those. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get it off the trailer, and I will show you, I'll show, show you guys what it looks like running, because it absolutely does run, and it actually runs pretty darn good, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go do that. So, as you can see, this thing runs pretty good. It's actually very quiet. I'm probably going to throw new plug wires and plugs in it before I give it to her, and a uh, PCV valve. I know it needs at least one oxygen sensor, I just don't know which one yet. Uh, it's going to need a uh, dipstick, which that's not a problem. The battery not held down, so I'll have to come up with uh, something for that. 
Um, I want to just rip this out of here. In fact, I will before we take it on a little test drive. The interior is not fantastic, but let me switch hands real quick. Watch this. Ow! There's a button right here. Or actually right here, rather. And the uh, door opens up. The guy, like I said, was a builder of some sort. Uh, I don't know what that sound was. Uh, but So it's a little grungy inside. I have the uh, the hood and the uh, bumper in there because I wanted to keep the factory uh, factory um, things in there. The uh, fog lights this has a cup holder, which is gross. Uh, but this has the uh, stow and go, where you fold this up and then the seat will fold down into the uh, floor. I have no idea how that works. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do something stupid. So I'll catch you in just a second. So we're in the van, and like I said, I already know that there's a check engine light, but uh, as you can see, it drives just fine. Um, I'm actually not going to go out on the road like I wanted to. I'm not sure what that's about. Anyway. I showed what I really need to show, so I'm going to go put this away, and I'm going to go home and get something to eat. <laughs> Alright, now that I think about it, that noise is very obviously just the, uh, that, um, that's where I'm looking for, the other inner fender wheel. Uh, one thing that's definitely going to have to change, actually, I don't know, I might keep this one, it's the CD and cassette one, so I don't know. Uh, it doesn't sound terrible. He had a really garbage EQ set up on it, but um, it is what it is. So I'm going to put the hood back on it. I didn't want it flopping around while we were uh, while I was driving. So I'm going to put the hood back on it just to protect the engine because I don't know when I'm going to look at the or get a chance to start working on this. Uh, I just want to look at something real quick while I'm thinking about it. One of the cheapest things that somebody can do to make their car run good is an air filter. I'm not even going to mess with that right now. Because I am changing it anyway. I'm going to change the plugs, wires, the uh, PCV valve, wherever that is. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to do the intake gaskets to do the plug wires, or the plugs, but that's not a problem. So... Anyway, we're we're gonna we're gonna uh, address all that in a future video. Uh, I think what I'm gonna, probably gonna do is take a couple days off of work, and uh, once I get all the parts together, and start working on it. Once I have all the parts together, uh, this here actually concerned me when I saw the pictures, but this is literally just cosmetic. Um, I can beat that down. It's not structural at all. However, the headlight assembly will not go in with it like that. So that, that does need to be addressed. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do it. If it comes down to it, I'll just I'll just uh, cut it off with a whiz wheel. Um, it's got a relatively new Ur battery. He said it was a used battery from his shop, but it seems to work just fine. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put the hood back on this. And uh, I will talk to you once we get into my truck. Some things I'm not sure if I, or I can't remember if I mentioned in that last bit of video uh, when I was holding the camera. Uh, that does have the, um, the 3.8 liter in it, which is one of, which is probably the best engine that they ever had in those vans. Um, it's just a it's, it's been a very reliable engine they've had it forever the 3.3 was a good engine too but uh but that one tends to uh they tend to be a little underpowered and not get good gas mileage not that the 3.8 is going to get any better <laughs> but uh yeah so right now i've got an empty trailer behind me damn i cannot see up there okay. i'm safe <laughs> So, 
I'm going to uh, I'm trying to think. Of, oh yeah, I'm going to get gas because I want to see what the uh, what the uh, economy was just towing the trailer or just towing the van because uh, I I already saw what it was before, which was uh, pretty good actually. But uh, so let's let's pull into here and then I'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah, I did the math while I was at the gas station. I almost completely forgot. So here we are. Uh, was it uh, almost three miles from the gas station? Um, so it was the average for towing the trailer up all the way from Richmond, Virginia to uh, Swedesboro, New Jersey was like fourteen point two something or three something. I, I have a screenshot. I'll I'll put it on the uh, I'll put it on the thing. So that you can uh, see that. So that's actually not too shabby out of a uh, out of this truck. I mean, like unless I was running ethanol-free gas, my Envoy was only averaging like fourteen to fifteen to the gallon on that kind of trip. Anyway, without without even uh, having a trailer, just by itself. So that's really not bad at all. I don't know what has gone on with my nose. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so that's, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It's, uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this truck. Uh, and that van, that noise, I said, huh, I wonder what that was. The, uh, washer bottle was, uh, cocked to the, uh, side. I forgot to mention that, too. It's, it, it's kind of hanging in there. So once I actually started hitting speed, it, it, the air was pushing it into the tire, so... So that's uh, that's good. So that's nothing major. Uh, that looks like a cop up here. That's probably because it is a cop. Um, and the um, so that is a cop, and people are slamming on the brakes for no reason. He's looking down, so that's a good thing. Man, this has been a heck of a day. It's uh, it's three o'clock now, which means I have officially been on the road for twelve hours. But yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna drop this off at the uh, drop this off at my friend Scott's towing because that's who I elected to drop the trailer off to. I'm gonna go to Laps and get a nice American hoagie uh, or regular hoagie, depending on how some of you are. Regular sub, submarine sandwich, whatever. I'm not eating healthy right now. I don't care. <laughs> but this shirt's nice and baggy on me anyway, so. I've lost some weight. It's all right. <laughs> this is a 3X shirt, by the way. So, but yeah, I think uh, I think that's pretty much going to be it for me today. Um, I have been gone 12 hours from my house, so I don't know. I'm, I'm just, my wife just made it to work. She said it's pretty slow there today. Which may or may not be a good thing. Or she said it's pretty quiet. So that generally means it's slow. In her speak. And we're getting to go over the new uh, bridge right here. There used to be a drawbridge here. And uh, they built this draw. They built this bridge here. And then they're going to start building this second bridge. It almost looks like. Or did they already build it? Looks like they might have already built it. I haven't been down this way in a while. So. I know that they were, uh, I know, oh yeah, they've only got half of it done, so, but yeah, they, um, yeah, this used to, because this one here, the drawbridge was a problem, and then they started having, uh, ships start going different directions, so they just decided to not have the drawbridge there anymore, just have a regular bridge that was high enough to go, to go over most ships, so, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. I really appreciate you guys watching if you made it this far. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.